23 pounds, 4 ounces. Get loud for Alex Redwine. What's up guys, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Alex Red One. I wanted to talk to you guys about the baits that I keep on my deck during the smallmouth transition. And what I mean by the smallmouth transition is that time period between the first or second week of September all the way until the middle of October. That time period can be super fun, yet also super tricky as those smallmouth are on the move from their summer patterns pushing bait fish and feeding up for the winter. The first bait that I'll use just to cover water. And what I mean by that is I'll get up on a shallower flat, whether it's between eight to 10 feet of water, scattered rocks, rock veins, and I'll cover tons of water with a Berkeley Stunner. This is a bait that'll dive any, about anywhere from six to eight feet of water, and I can cover tons of water with this. And it also just allows me to see fish, whether fish follow it in, swipe at it, I'm just, I'm just able to see those fish and kind of pinpoint where exactly they're at along these large flats and large rock veins. Second, whenever I get around more high spots or more bigger boulders, that's when I'll go with a Berkeley flat nose minnow with a half head jig head. Uh, this is something that I can drop on those larger boulders, drop on those fish that I see feeding on balls of bait on my forward facing sonar, and I can also drag this bait along the bottom when, when it need be. It's a super good bait and it imitates a bait fish super well. My third thing that I'll, that I'll always have on my deck it's kind of something that I keep in my back pocket a little bit um, and try not try not to let the word out, but I'll let, it, I'll let it out to you guys. This is a swim bait style bait on a wobble head jig head. This is a Berkeley Power Swimmer and this is a bait that I can still cover tons of water with when I'm fishing in that 12 to 20 feet of water on those larger flats of scattered rocks and everything. This bait thrives in overcast conditions. Uh, smallmouth have a tendency not to really like cloudy days. They really like that sun so they can cruise around a lot more. But I will use this to still cover tons of water in that deeper water column. This bait really thrives in when that water temperature gets a little bit below 60 degrees and into the high 50s. I, like I said, I can cover tons of water and also the, the deal this time of year is mimicking that bait fish. Hopefully you guys can utilize some of these baits that I talked about and get, you, and get on a killer smallmouth fall bite.